Hi, so today we're going to just in a very short time, I'm going to try and keep this video to around five minutes, uh, walk you through how to back up your Nano DLP installation. If you have a Raspberry Pi and you've got Nano DLP for your SLA machine or Octopi for your printer running, you're probably going to want to back that up. As I found out with the last update on Nano DLP, it was a little buggy and on some of the installations it didn't work so well but it's a good idea to have a backup of that thing before you do any big updates like that anyway that can be once you've got your profiles and things sorted out or for whatever reason at, at some point you should pull a backup of your nano dlp installation so the first thing to know is when you do a backup off the SD card that's in your Nano DLP machine, that backup is going to be the size of your SD card. So if you've got an 8 gig SD card in there, that backup is going to be 8 gigs. If it's 16, it's going to be 16, etc. The only time that won't be the case is if you haven't expanded the file system to take up the whole disk. And if you haven't done that, you're going to be sitting with a very small image that's going to be complaining about space all the time. So you probably will have done that at some point. Now the backups that you're doing, you don't have to keep them forever. I would keep at least the last one that you know is stable with everything sorted out. And once you've done updates, you might want to do it again. So the first thing to do is get your micro SD out of the, the Nano DLP, put it in a card reader, whatever you need for your machine. And I've done it. And it's going to come up and say you need to format the drive before you can use it. Click cancel on that. Don't uh, you don't want to do that? So you're going to use Win32 Disk Imager to write the backup image. Win32 Disk Imager you'll have already because that's what you would have used to do your Nano DLP installation in the first place. Now the tricky thing here is that you're going to want to tell this thing where you want to back it up. So you're going to click on the, the icon, you can see the icons there, and you're going to go and select a file location for it. Uh, in my case, I've got a Nano DLP folder. I'm going to go to backup, and I'm going to call it backup image. So when you go and create, or well, you don't create it, you basically go and select a folder, and at the last part of it, where it asks you for the file name, you're just going to go type in there backup.img. And once you've done that, this option becomes available here, which then says read data from device to image file. You say read, uh, you say read, and you basically proceed with that. And that's going to run through the whole process. And I'm going to let that just run, and I'll probably speed up the video while it does that. All right. And there you have it. Uh, that took about nine and a half minutes. And at the end of it, it basically just says read successful. And that really is it. You've got the folder that you have there. And that's where your, your backup is. So save that somewhere. If you need it, you can always just use that and go back to it. And um, yeah, so there you have it. Back, back up your Nano DLP, your Octopi, essentially any image from a SD card by mirroring that SD card into, into an image file. And you've got your backup. As easy as that. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, do all the rest.